Hey everyone, Ghost here, talking UCLA, Washington State. This one was ugly, but in the end it was a win. It wasn't exactly, you know, it definitely was painful to watch. I mean, you know, people talk about torture and use that word. UCLA football has been torture ever since after the season of 2005. I think 2006, yeah, we beat USC, but it's been torture. Got, we can't finish games. We're always taking one step forward, two steps back. It's just... So normal, and it's torture. Uh, this game signified it once again. Uh, the UCLA was giving up a lot of yards in the first half, but they held them to field goals. Lots of bend, but don't break. Uh, so I got to give props to the defense for hanging in there and hanging tough. Coleman gets a nice touchdown, and then Richard Breho gets out for the game, which, and possibly he could be lost for the season. That's very painful to know. Uh, so once Prince came in, kind of lost some confidence. Uh, Suddenly, after a bad penalty, which I'm going to kill the refs on for that, for that leaping or whatever you call it, the guy hits a field goal, they're up 9-7, and then UCLA runs a nice two-minute drill, but then Kevin Prince ruins it with an interception. Uh, you know, pretty typical Kevin Prince, if you ask me. I'm just sort of used to these bad throws at this rate. Uh, but in the third quarter, UCLA bounces right back with the Fast drive and a touchdown by Derek Coleman to ice it off. So I think it was 60 plus yards. But then Wazoo answers right back, and you're just thinking, oh, the defense is awful. Just kind of used to this defense being as piss poor as it's been. And they're very shorthanded. I know they're injured, so I'll, I'll give them some uh, pass. But yeah, the defense has been hurt. They're playing very soft, and they're playing like they're scared. I mean, it's pretty obvious out there how soft they play, giving up seven yards of play, it feels like. So yeah, a bunch of third down conversions, and that led up to the 16 to 14. Eventually, later we uh, we see uh, Wazoo get another touchdown, <laughs> thanks to more third down completions uh, or conversions. But and Prince was throwing off. There were some open receivers, and Prince was missing his targets. Uh, he was looking like a turtle when he was running the pistol when you try to see him run. He didn't look that fast. It was awful. Uh, that, that wasn't like in what I was seeing from that. Uh, it was ugly. But all of a sudden, UCLA scores really quickly off of a big run by Franklin. And then Josh Smith uh, eventually catches the ball nicely, uh, nine-yard pass. And then uh, all of a sudden, we're up by, we're only down by two points. This game's not exactly over. And uh, UCLA was able to clank down and only allow a field goal, a long field goal, which, you know... <laughs> There was still some dumb penalties in between, some soft coverages and third down conversions in between. It was annoying. But uh, after after allowing a field goal, they're only down by five points. And you know a touchdown can win it. And all of a sudden, a big pass to Nelson Rosario. i got to give my props now. Rosario was pretty inconsistent most of the game. He only had like three catches this game. But he made the ones that counted. And that one was needed. Uh, Prince kind of overthrew Rosario, and Rosario caught it. Eventually, it set up the game-winning touchdown pass to Shaq Shaquille Evans, who is the Notre Dame transfer. Hope he gets healthy, by the way. I saw that he got hurt at the end. Uh, yeah, all of a sudden, still, 326 is a lot of time. Our defense has been bad, and it's pretty piss poor. But Andrew Abbott, after allowing a few first downs, Andrew Abbott comes up with the interception that the Bruins needed, and uh, Lobastel makes his only mistake of this game. Marshall Lobostel was very, uh, very efficient this game. Uh, maybe it's UCLA just making him look like that because we're playing soft zone. Just letting guys catch the ball, just trying to make sure he doesn't get the home run play. That's pretty much what this coaching staff was doing. Uh, Lobostel did pretty well if it weren't for that interception. And then after a dumb penalty, it was like third and seven. Josh Smith comes up with a big reception after the passing game being sucky. Prince has the balls to throw it out and throws it out to Smith, which completes it. And UCLA gets the win, and they're two and one in conference play. Sure, we're three and three, and it doesn't look good, but two and one in conference play. Uh, you know, some of the schedule is doable if they can learn to play up to their abilities. The good thing is the bye week is here. They got to get ready for Arizona in a couple weeks on a Thursday night. You know. The run defense definitely was ugly, as expected, and the pass rush was not very effective as well. Wasn't liking what I saw from that, especially that pass rush. I mean, <laughs> I didn't see much sacking on, on Lobastel much at all. And, uh, you know, 
some of these guys like Dayton Jones and Ogwagwan Bale Digizu, I haven't seen a lot from them. Same for Cassius Marsh. A little bit disappointed there still that the defensive line hasn't uh, been what I expected in a pass rush. Uh, and then the receiving, you know, the Wazoo receivers were owning us for most of the game. They they were doing the short, the short passes that were working underneath open the middle throws and they just run at the open field on us. We got to work on tackling much better. Because, uh, it's looking ugly. But Prince, uh, I got to give my props. After that interception, he overcame adversity because we had no one else left on the bench outside of Chrisman and uh, Darius Bell, which would not be very good either to use. So the question of the game is this. If you're a UCLA fan and you watch these videos, I'd like to hear you say, do we take the red shirt off Hunley or do we stick with Prince? I want to hear from your responses in the comments below. Uh, Prince, second half, did his job after some ugly throws. and uh, Gotta give my props to him. He, obviously, I still am frustrated with him overall, but he came through this game uh, when it mattered most. So, uh, Big game ball goes to the offense uh, just for coming through with the drives they needed in a close game. And, you know, New Heisel's seat is still on fire even after this win. You know, he gets like an ice cube on that hot seat. So, very little to cool it down. He still needs to win a little more for the hot seat to uh, cool down even more. I need to see a lot more improvement when we go play Arizona. So, I'll take the win. It was pretty nerve-wracking, but I'll take it. Go Bruins. Let me know what you guys think. See y'all later.